Whoa, what's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to bring you guys some great Xbox news. Uh, there's been this crazy gaming war going on, this console war, and it seems like this war is going to continue to wage, and the wars might actually be changing right now. The winds might be changing. You know, uh, Microsoft might be killing off some of Sony's front line and taking over different territories because right now in the UK it's looking like Microsoft land. It's insane. I'll drop a link in the description. Slim release sees Xbox One hardware sales skyrocket 1000%. Xbox has stormed the UK console market following the launch of the new Xbox One S models. The release of the firm's new Slim 500GB and 1TB SKU saw Xbox One sales rise 989% week on week. Shit! The Xbox One had a 71% share of the hardware market for the week ending September 24th, according to GFK data obtained by MCV. That's an increase of 76% year on year. The new slimmed down PS4 arrived earlier this month, but sales have so far been slow. PlayStation 4 had a market share of just 19% last week, with unit sales declining 66% year on year, although sales were up 22% week on week. When the launch weeks of the PS4 Slim and the 500GB and 1TB Xbox One S were compared, Microsoft's were stronger to the tune of 361%. Sony will be hoping that buyers are holding out for the launch of their high-spec $349 PlayStation 4 Pro in November. The Xbox One S was announced on stage at E3, and the 1TB and 500GB SKUs launched last week. Both were bundled with FIFA 17, which is officially released on September 29th, meaning fans could play EA's football title a week early, courtesy of the included EA Access Trial membership. The new S model offers a number of upgrades, such as 4K Blu-ray support. A 2TB pre-order edition of the Xbox One S was released on August 2nd, but the limited stock quickly vanished from shelves. Currently, there do not seem to be any plans to restock the SKU. Quote, It's great to see how popular both the Xbox One S and the FIFA 17 Xbox One S consoles are with fans. Not just over the last week, but since the Xbox One was released in August. 4K video streaming and 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray have been extremely well received, and we believe there is no better value right now for those looking to upgrade their console, end quote. Xbox UK marketing boss Harvey Eagle told MCV, quote, It's a fantastic time for gamers with the range of upcoming titles appealing to all audiences, from Gears of War 4 to Skyrim Special Edition and the release this week of the acclaimed Forza Horizon 3. There's never been a better time to own an Xbox One. Shit! Sony! <laughs> Microsoft's kicking ass, man. I mean, and they deserve it. Microsoft, they were like Lex Luthor or something. They were like the bad guy, the, the evil villain in the gaming community because of the way they launched it. And Don Matrick, to me, was a lot of the reason behind that. He's gone. Phil Spencer came in, turned everything around. I always say that. It's so true. And now, with the Xbox One S, a thousand percent hardware sales increase? Holy shit! If this continues, if this takes fire like it did over in the UK and the United States, man, imagine if this thing starts selling in Japan, I'd lose my mind. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this just a short-lived thing? Do you guys think that the reason that PlayStation sales are kind of low right now for the Slim is because people are just waiting and waiting and waiting for that Pro? Is that what you guys think is happening? Or do you think it's possible? that Microsoft Xbox One S is going to take on the Slim and the Pro right now. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.